Hello, it's Krusty here today, and it is the week before Christmas, and uh, before I head out here shopping, Christmas shopping here this morning, um, I wanted to give a video. Um, so, I'm a little slow, uh, slower today because I'm on yet again a bunch of antibiotics. Um, for a UTI, which I get them chronically, um, but, um, it slows me down, but not enough that it's not going to stop my voice on here. Um, whether some people like that or not, <laughs> probably not anybody on here, uh, because y'all wouldn't have subscribed to my channel, but, um, just facing some of the people out here yet that I have to deal with, um, whether we want to or not, sometimes, sometimes we often still have to deal with, uh, narcissistic people or, or, uh, people that don't quite understand what you're doing, um, and things like that. So, I'm really dehydrated, so I'm gonna keep drinking my water. And Daisy says hi. Um, so I'm always excited to give a video no matter what, <laughs> something always inspires me, uh, be it as this device is kind of playful, being in front of a video or not, God knows that we all need play in our lives, without it we really would go dead inside and out in every way possible I do believe. Um, so putting play in our everyday um, is essential always. Um, and I don't think that we really get enough of it. Um, I think and that's another big reason why we um, have to use um, or, you know, do things that aren't healthy and overuse um, and overdo things um, every day is uh, because uh, maybe we're not understanding or we were taught um, that playing was bad or uh, there's only play during a certain time of the day um, as we were taught a lot of us as children inside and outside of classes um, but, you know, um, I wish there would be more of it um, in this world where we as people can open up um, to the idea that getting through things such as uh, studies and um, lectures, um, just anything and everything could have more play involved at it where we can just be ourselves, be free spirits, and in order to open up our creative minds and uh, touch that with logic and just really have this wise array of intuitive ability and um, just openness that we can share with each other our ideas and that's where we really uh, come together with uh, the sparks of life, the excitement, uh, the adventures, um, the everyday living that just becomes not so depressing or negative anymore where our thoughts can come out of the gutters um, and, and as we use more and, sh and can even share with others more mindfulness techniques and new ways of approaching things even for businesses um, can just really uh, breathe life and freshness and just a brand new fresh everything and motive plus motivation and inspiration on a boring life in general and how boring it can get <clears throat> by taking these steps um, I think that a person can really come alive um, and doing things that they enjoy doing uh, maybe if we weren't allowed to growing up, especially for us codependents, uh, where we were often taught to serve uh, others and um, with things that they like 
and often times having our own uh, feelings, thoughts, or ideas, or playtime ignored, uh, and then we end up ignoring it as adults. And I think that's why there is an increase in all the, um, you know, addictive uh, behaviors these days, uh, because we don't know how to come out of the stump or the clump. Um, whether if we're by, by ourselves and we think that um, maybe as our children leave the nest or whatever that we're on our own and we have all this freedom now or we have more money and we have more freedom now uh, whatever the case may be or we broke up with that person you know and we think life will be more exciting and then we find ourselves just kind of sitting around and wondering what to do with ourselves and uh, why life is not fun or enjoyable. Uh, maybe we're sitting there watching movies and expecting um, different results from the ones that we're getting. Um, after we're done cleaning the house, taking inventory, um, whatever it is, or even on our very lives, what is most important and what is not, um, we have to learn to um, accept, forgive ourselves, and use non-judgment when we start having these thoughts that uh, everything is all our faults and uh, life will always be glum, uh, to come out of some of these negative thought processes. and start taking more action, be it mindfulness, <clears throat> having a conversation uh, with somebody about it, um, that it's not our fault that we might be stuck um, being really extremely bored um, when maybe we have never been taught to like ourselves and find the things that we really like to do in life. Um, find the hobbies that we uh, have enjoyed maybe at one point. Um, maybe after that abusive relationship or all those years of addiction um, where we've taken care of the kids, we've taken care of our job and um, we never learn to self-care, uh, self-adult, self-love, um, or give ourselves the pleasure of coming out of those types of despair um, after we do the no contact or we do begin to sober, um, playing with animals for instance, um, you know, creating these new relationships with things um, and people that actually love you. You know, I can feel her little heart pattering under my my uh, hand. And where we can really start connecting from the heart um, instead of maybe that dysfunctional family that you came from or still can be in where um, that caring and concern is not really um, those people that care for us were not actually um, very capable of giving that to us, let alone themselves. Um, whatever it may be, um, it's all the same where we have neglected ourselves and our own um, enjoyments and um, pleasures and uh, maybe we're over seeking those pleasures and we've become addicted to pleasure, 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 where the dopamine decreases, whether in those um, love bombing relationships or uh, sexual addictions, um, whatever it may be, when we can become more in balance with um, the rational logic parts of our brains where we begin not being carried away by too much of a good thing or too much of a bad thing, like, you know, sitting all day uh, doing nothing, 
um, where we can start meditating, taking in fresh breaths of air, getting sunshine, walking in nature, uh, reading a motivational book, uh, whatever starts shifting your mindset will actually start creating a new, more positive mindset, changing chemicals in the brain. Um, whether we're taking those steps to create further boundaries away from the people that have these stuck mindsets, um, that don't understand why you might be pulling away and um, recreating. I know for me and my art, um, for a long time, it's been really hard for me uh, because as a child growing up in a covert narcissistic abusive home, uh, where I was a gift gifted with the ability of art. And um, as a child, my parents, ha parents had an arts and crafts business. Um, I really enjoyed that time because I got to paint. But little did I know, uh, now that I am in the process and the steps of recovery where I'm looking back at it now and seeing uh, where all the blocked... Uh, controlling parts were and what I was really allowed and not allowed to do um, where I had to create uh, more of like uh, for an um, arts and crafts business around here um, it was more like painting barns uh, painting animals which was can be a great start for any artist um, just painting whatever and getting good at whatever but um, I remember the day came when I wanted to use a different kind of paint um, and um, doing more things that I liked doing in the business, um, like creating pillows, creating jeans. I was, I'm much more of a designer type of a person. Um, was not um, where a narcissist is concerned as to my narcissistic father and even uh, my mother with I think some borderline traits um, oftentimes uh, especially in the very end as I grew into my t early 20s became very jealous of me um, and did not treat uh, some of my uh, things with respect um, when we were putting them out there and selling them at flea markets, um, you know, and in the end, when I confront, tried to confront my father, and because he wanted it the same way, and he wanted fast production, um, you know, it was more all about money with them, and uh, just this crazy control that. Um, when his mask did slip on, when I finally confronted him and was angry, um, he was telling me to use, um, acrylics like usual and not the oil-based, which I was kind of experimenting with. Um, and it became, uh, crazy just the way that he w was arguing with me. And it didn't make any logical sense, really. Um, he just turned into this crazed person and just had to have this really, really, really hungry need to control even this abstract, simple thing. Uh, you know, which they do. Um, and then it became, it turned into a full-blown... Um, attack on me and a full-blown physical beating on me um, when I told him that I didn't like him I thought he was a jerk and um, because whenever they are exposed um, you should probably run um, exposing them to their faces is not a good idea unless you did not you know have not learned anything about it and it's already happened to you, which often does, before we go seek uh, why it's happening to us or what it is. Um, you know, that's just a little bit of my story there where um, 
and then the whole family ignores it um, and does not give me any real kind of emotional validation, even my own mother after it happened. And uh, that was the first time that I did run. I packed my bags and I did uh, try to uh, go to Arizona with this friend of mine. But of course, I was already uh, experimenting with drugs back then and we did not get very far. Um, but, you know, that was one of the times that I could, one of the first times I can think of where, um, I really kind of quit doing things with my artwork uh, after that. I went into a different job altogether, um, which was working uh, at the bar scene in a city. Um, although I did have my dance still um, because I became an exotic dancer. Um, but still, um, it was like I switched off of painting, which is my total passion in the world. And, um, just because these people can, uh, punish us for, um, having the things that we enjoy doing in our lives. They always have to outdo us and be better than us, and they have to keep us down, um, in order to feel better, uh, than us. Um, that's why it's, it's so important, uh, like Scott Bassett was saying this morning, um, in an email, that it is so important, uh, because in your life, dealing with these individuals still on and off, um, they're still going to make these attacks on you, uh, every once in a while, if not more than a while, when you're least expecting it, um, telling you or insinuating to you that you are no good, you are trash, you're just their punching bag, and they project all of their stuff onto you. My doggy wants toilet paper. <laughs> so, um, as I make these about 20 minutes long, um, the best advice that I've heard so far, um, of course, is the no contact rule, creating more boundaries, where they're not going to like these boundaries, but when you get tired enough and you start understanding what they're doing and the trap and lesions uh, that they keep you in, uh, under fear uh, where you lose your desire to do your passions in life or even your small little hobbies uh, that cr can create so much joy and peace and lift up that depression um, you know and those bad feelings about yourself um, when we can cut away from these people and keep them out of our lives um, you know, just avoid them, if at all possible, um, and just to walk around them and not give them the attention or focus that they do so crave from us, wanting to suck the emotions out of us or even our very uh, desires to be happy or to uh, feel like we deserve that happiness. Um, just to remember one thing, this is not about them. This is about you. Uh, this is your life. And um, it, it, can be, it can be very difficult to understand and process and grieve through the emotions uh, that these are some of the people that you loved or, or thought that, you know, they really had the same kind of love for you. But uh, with their disease of narcissistic personality disorder, um, they are inca incapable of giving you as much as you have ever given them. Um, don't be, don't mean to be negative about all that, but to remember to take yourself out, love yourself today, um, maybe, uh, change that visit today that you that you have or that dinner that you have uh, with those covert parents or whoever uh, in your life and maybe just take the time to go out with yourself today 
and um, maybe grab those paints, keep practicing um, what you love, and or get that pen and write that poem again, um, and just keep practicing doing doing those things that you love and enjoy because that really brings back that passion, fun, and uh, excitement, motivation back into our lives. Thank you for listening today, and I hope you have a great one.